It's time to do some toy hunting. But as I'm finding toy hunting in the Thomas and Friends area can be quite tricky because, well, all too often after Christmas, there tends to be a vacuum of Thomas and Friends toys. And sadly, what I've seen over many years is this vacuum can continue on for some period of time. I like to look at the Thomas and Friends toys because that's what I show on YouTube. That's also what I collect. And I also feel that I understand what's going on. Mind you, there are things that I'm seeing on the Thomas and Friends shelves that are now totally confusing me. Where I live, January tends to be the summer school holidays. Often the toy aisles have lots of children nagging parents for toys. Mind you, these days they play Fortnite. But what I've seen over the years is some of the best prices for toys happen as soon as the children go back to school. That's when you'll pick up the real bargains. Okay, let's do it. Okay, this is about as bad as it gets when it comes to Thomas stock in a shop. And I'm going to pull back from this peg here, which is empty. The peg next to it is empty. That one's empty. We've got some Percy's here. Trackmaster 2. Okay, only Percy. We've got some Thomas Adventures here, but it's only Lexi. Yes, uh, sadly Lexi isn't popular. We go down to this shelf here. The Thomas Minis have gone. Empty shelf. Uh, there is a little children's toy Rosie there. Okay, so yeah. Take a look at that there. It's just one cell in my favourite retailer. Go down here. Okay, we've got a, a Misty Island zip line. There's a couple of these sets. It doesn't seem to be that popular as I said, even when they dump the price. Nothing there. And down on the bottom shelf there. Absolutely zip all. So to me that makes a classic example of just how bad and sad it can get in the Thomas area in the shop I like to shop at. Like I keep saying, please give some love to Lexi. Don't let Lexi be a peg sitter, although she's proving to be a very good one. And also let's give some love to Percy. Uh, Percy is so often left on the pegs and uh, this is what I see basically after the massive Christmas rush on Thomas and Friends toys. If I was really lucky, uh, Percy here would tell me a tale of what went on here, but he's uh, looking a little bit stuffy at the moment. Okay, this is the next day. Stuff has been sold, things have uh, moved. Uh, be a memory test here for me. I think the Rosie or something that was there is gone. I think there was a Thomas Minis box gone there. Um, I'm not sure whether any of the purses have sold it. Let's look a little bit more skimpy there. Uh, but sadly, I, I think the Lexis, uh, the Lexis that nobody wants, I think they're all still there, okay? Uh, down here, the zipline set's still there. I don't think much has changed down there. And of course, down the bottom there, it's still uh, a Thomas and Friends tragedy of empty shelving. Uh, but it is just surprising because it's school holidays where I am. People would want to be buying these Thomas and Friends toys. Uh, there's nothing here, but the good news is they must be popular because, well, they've nearly all sold out. Now I'm looking at Lexi here and the price they've got on Lexi. I think $6 is a great price for this Thomas Adventures toy train. There's nothing wrong with Lexi apart from the fact Lexi goes backwards. And maybe Lexi's a girl, but then I might get in trouble for saying that. I'm going to do something quite freakish here. I'm actually going to come in and I'm going to buy all these Lexis and save Lexi from the embarrassment of not being sold. Before I go totally stupid here, let me price check this. Okay, uh, six dollars, great price. I've just grabbed that box there. Um, I'm noticing in this store here, the most stolen toy is the Fortnite loot crate or loot box. And I've got one of those videos where I do toys stolen in store. And you're going to be absolutely amazed at how many of those Fortnite toys are being stolen in store. I'm not stealing these Lexis, I'm going to buy them, I'm going to save her the embarrassment of being a peg sitter. So there you go, it looks sort of awesome, doesn't it? Maybe they've got to present them in a bit of a different way. Uh, yeah, these Lexis are going to be saved from toy scrap. But the very sad news is I can't save everyone and um, poor old Percy's going to have to remain here and be a peg sitter. And before I leave this illustrious store, there is a massive stack of these Hot Wheels sets which I saw before Christmas and uh, this stack seemed to get bigger and bigger. The prices come down to $69 here and I'm wondering why aren't sets like this selling? Uh, I think it's a fantastic set. Mind you, I haven't bought one because I'm waiting for the price to come down even a bit further. But I'm thinking if these Hot Wheels sets aren't selling, uh, the question is why? Is this a Fortnite factor? Have children forgotten how to play with toys like this? 
These sets have already been heavily reduced, but I'm thinking, oh, it's got a little bit further to go yet. I'm sort of thinking more like $49 is my price, but will we get there? Actually, before I go, there's something quite comical here that was on the, the Mummy's Facebook page. Not that I'm on Facebook or the Mummy's page, but if you take a look at this uh, snake and ladder set, now if I go up here nice and slowly and maybe go in on the section right there, can you see a problem going on? Uh, maybe that's a very special set to have, hey? It might be worth a lot more money in the future. I'm not silly enough to pick that up, or maybe I am. I'll just put it back on the shelf. But what I have come in to do today is uh, save Lexi, and I'm going off to purchase Lexi now. Okay, I'm back at my favourite uh, retailer. I'm looking at the Thomas stock after the most dismal empty shelving that I ever saw in my whole life. And there is new stock on the shelves, which is really good to report. Of course, there are things that have been here sort of forever, but it's actually nice to see some new things. And we'll just have a very quick look and what's going on because the things that I was warned about are actually starting to come true and maybe they're starting to scare me. Just one thing that's uh, very apparent is Thomas Adventures, apart from that set there, and Thomas Wood that used to all be here, is totally missing. What we've basically got left is only what the classing is Thomas Trackmaster. But looking at this Trackmaster set here, this isn't the Trackmaster that I recognized. Maybe uh, the rolling stock here is something I understand. But looking at the Percy there, that's nothing like a Trackmaster Percy. It looks like some sort of push-along uh, variation between Thomas Adventures and Trackmaster. It looks a little tad weird. Uh, maybe you can have your say about what's going on there. That's the set there, a Percy's Bell Drop. It's got a bit of a facade going on here. You know, a looper track with a couple of straights. A bit of a Bell Drop thing going on there. Crikey Charlie's, it's a bit of a shock. I heard people talking about this, but I actually didn't believe them, and now I do. Sorry if I was rude to some people online because I thought when I heard what was going on it sounded like madness. But it looks like the madness has turned into reality. Here's another set here featuring Thomas. Okay, Brendam Fish Markets. And we've got a facade there, a bit of elevation, and we've got Cranky here. I mean, it presents really well, but why we got this bizarre sort of Thomas Adventures meshed with Trackmaster? That's the bit I'm struggling with. The back of the box looks like that. Yes, I'll be getting these because, of course, I'm a Thomas collector and we all love Thomas, don't we? And there's also this smaller set here, very small. And it's a bit like a cheat on the old starter sets, in a sense, that featured a windmill, if you remember the old stuff. Um, that sort of morphed Thomas. Very curious. It's like, it's like Adventures meshed. I don't know. It's like Adventures that plays on Trackmaster 2. I'll have to do a hard-up comparison. <laughs> Try not to get cranky, hey? There's the back of the uh, the box there. Yeah, look look at the prices. I mean, all this stuff's really, really cheap. It seems to be about getting this stuff out as cheap as they possibly can. And I can make a comparison here. If I lift that up like that with the Adventures set on the back there, uh, this new Thomas here, it's like a morph between Thomas Adventures. It's got a wider wheel gauge. It's got like a Trackmaster 2 coupling, let's say, versus the Thomas that was, well, what they classified as Thomas Adventures, it's quite unusual. Now I'm looking at this, it just has me puzzled and I'm thinking maybe it's just, you know, like a push-along version of something you'd have on Trackmaster 2 because as we know, the Trackmaster 2 Thomases are not really a push-along train. Let me put this stock back to where it belongs. And now thinking of Trackmaster 2, this is, well, a rehash of the Water Tower set. This used to come like a Thomas set from the beginning of Trackmaster 2. It now has an exclusive Percy, which looks pretty awesome, okay? Look, don't get me wrong, if you're a Percy lover, you're going to love that Percy. But if you're into Trackmaster 2, well, basically everything else is something you probably already got, okay? I also see they've got this one here, the Monkey Mania Thomas, okay? And they've got the Animal Party Percy, but I think the thing that's missing here is the diesel with the funky bits of um, gear on it and it's that diesel there and it's called Rebecca okay oh crikey's it's a girl so it probably won't sell uh, sadly Rebecca's not here and what I'm noticing here is this curious little picture up here let's take a close look at that well you can read that there and really a picture tells a thousand words doesn't it hey there you go there's one thing I know about Trackmaster 2 these three sets they sell hard and fast that is unless it's a Lexi okay I guarantee to you uh, this stuff here won't take long to sell Okay, there's Trackmaster, two engines here, it's often dominated by Percy, there seems to always be an overload of Percy's and everything, but there is actually a selection of characters if you take a look at these little pictures here. But the set which is sort of curious to me, and it is a flashback to a classic Trackmaster set, as I call it a starter set, it's this one here featuring Thomas, and you also get a little looper track, and it's quite nice to see this style of set come back. 
Just looking at the Thomas in this pack here, it is just a stock standard face Thomas. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Collect as many of them as you possibly can. And on the back of the box there, it is just a swarm of reading and languages, man. It's just crazy. And there's also the other engines there that you should be collecting, I hope. But the best thing about this Thomas and that piece of track is its price. And here in Australia, it is really well priced. And I am in Kmart and it's basically a $12 item which is really the perfect kickstart into your Thomas Trackmaster career and buy lots of it and buy lots of the track and if you are going to buy a Thomas like that which has got a piece of rolling stock well here in Kmart Australia it's up for about 15 bucks and what is quite unusual about the Thomas Trackmaster stuff is really this stuff has come down in price if I went back let's say I don't know six to eight years you were paying like 20 to 25 dollars for something like that but as we all know, and I hope we understand, that Trackmaster 2 is a very, very different animal versus classic Trackmaster and the Tomy that preceded it. So sure, yes, there is a little bit of empty shell bridge going on here. There is new stock going on here. It is only one cell, but hey, it is sort of nice that we have got Thomas stock here back in the store, which is really, really important in my books. I know you're wondering about that Hot Wheels set. I'm wondering as well. It doesn't look like that much is sold and I'm still waiting for the price to come down. It is still 69 wonderful, wonderful dollars. I'm still thinking something like $49 is my price. Well, that there, uh, well, it was, or used to be the Thomas area there. It's now got some wooden toys there, but hey, I've got some good news. I've got some good news. My patience has paid off here and the Hot Wheels set that I thought was gonna come down in price my crikey Charlie's, guess how much it is now? It is an amazing $39, that's my sort of price. There's the price ticket there, wonderful to see, wonderful to see. So it's taken a couple of weeks for the price to come down at this point. I don't think it's gonna go any lower. I think they're gonna sell at this point because people would have been looking at this set and they would have been remembering the price like I did. And I think at that price there, it's gonna sell hard. That's the cars you get with this place that I will be picking one of these up but I'm just going to put it down and I'm just going to try and find out where the Thomas area is. I have a sneaky suspicion it's just around the corner here and if I turn here dun dun dun, this is the new cell area where the Thomas and Friends stock resides. Mind you I can see lots of things that aren't Thomas and Friends and I can see empty shelving down there but that's no surprise to me. Let's take a look what's here. Okay, Monkey Mania Thomas. Um, that's it. Still one of those still here, which is nice. And that's another monkey mania there. And well, this is something I see all too often as you see toys which have been tampered with, opened up. Uh, this set here has been opened up. Okay, look at that there. Someone's decided to do a bit of unboxing in store. Whether or not anything is missing from that, unknown. So there's that there, that there. Of course, you've got your Trackmaster 2 Percy's, which is, well, of course, he's always going to be around, isn't he? He always is. Okay, so they're all Percy's through there. This one here, which is the well, the new version of Trackmaster, you know, the strange morphed engine there. I don't know really what to say about that. Uh, very strange. Curiously, and then by no surprise, there is a Percy here. It's Thomas Adventures. Uh, is Thomas Adventures over and done with? It certainly seems to be like that. And I've always had this saying about the empty pegs and empty shelves. You can't make a cent when you've basically got no stock. And I've been seeing this over and over and over with the Thomas stuff. And um, yeah, so that's the Thomas area there. A little bit more hidden away, but uh, still heavily, heavily, heavily understocked. So yes, uh, I'm so accustomed to seeing something like this. And you know what? There used to be a time when the Thomas area didn't just take up one cell. It used to take up the whole aisle. And when I made that video, Thomas Love, that was a time when that was going on. I used to come to Kmart and see the whole aisle was full of Thomas stuff, but you don't see that anymore. So for me, that's a good price. It would be greedy to wish it to go any lower. We want Mattel to make some money, and my son was interested in this set, so I will grab him one of these, and I feel I've got it at the right price. Well, I've used the robot to get one of these. I hate using the robot, but, you know, I've got to succumb to the robot. There's my receipt for this toy. Fantastic Please price. I'm glad I waited for the price to come down. Okay, this is a couple of days after I purchased my set. There's still 39 bucks, and uh, we'll guess how many are left. We're just going to back back it here. And there's one set there, there's one set there, so that's two. And there's a couple of sets there, can you add them up there? So yeah, 39 bucks was the right sort of price. And Curiosity kills the cat for me, it came back uh, another day later and we're down to our final two sets. There's one set there, it's got a bit of a damaged box there, it's still $39, that's the right price. And there's another set here, but this box has been a little bit busted into. 
So yeah, if I walk back nice and slow now, that's all that's left there. And like back at Christmas time, there were stacks and stacks of these. But once it hits the right price, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? They fly out the door real fast. I found it quite curious to watch the pricing on the Hot Wheels set and how it had to hit a certain price before it basically sold in a snap. It started out a few weeks before Christmas at $79.00. And then once Christmas was over and January hit, it fell down to $69 and it said clearance. And then it sat there for four weeks and until February rolled over and the children are back at school by then, it then fell to $39, which is basically half the price it was originally selling for at Christmas time. Now, in fact, once it hit $39, they sold out basically within a day. And I've got a sneaky suspicion that people who sell things online were just grabbing them en masse. Not that I saw that, but that's what I suspect. And for a toy like that, I think $39 is a fantastic price in Australia. Mind you, between you and me, I believe the Percy 6-in-1 set for $29, and that was the only price I saw it at, was the best bargain in the toy store. Those things sold like frippin' hotcakes. Awesome to see. And as I'm often saying now, Kmart forever. I dare say that totally confuses my American audience. I dare say they say Walmart forever or Target forever. But you'll never hear me say Target forever. That's for sure. Don't tell anyone, okay? Bye.